Well, tonight, another fiery debate in the race for the Republican presidential nomination. The candidates agreed on the de tragic death of Justice Antonin Scalia, but after that, the gloves came off in South Carolina. KCL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan joins us now with more on the Republican showdown in the ninth debate this campaign. Dave? Andrea, with the field of major GOP candidates now trimmed down, each of them had more time to speak to the issues. But that didn't mean they toned down the attacks on one another, even after the brief moments of unity on their reactions to Justice Scalia's sudden death. Please join us and the candidates on our stage. Before the Republican debate began, the six major candidates still standing had a moment of silence in honor of Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia, after which they all agreed that Republicans should fight President Obama's announced intention to nominate a replacement for Scalia and ask the Senate for confirmation before he leaves office. I believe uh, the president should not move forward and uh, I, I think that we ought to let the next president of the United States decide who is going to run that Supreme Court. We're not going to get healing with President Obama. That's very clear. So I fully agree that we should not uh, allow a judge to be appointed during his time. But once the 10 minutes of agreement over appointing a successor to Justice Scalia was over, the real battle began on several fronts. It started with a question about Donald Trump's statement that President George W. Bush, Jeb Bush's brother, should have been impeached for the Iraq war, leading to this exchange. We're living in dangerous times. This is a man who insults his way to the nomination. All right, ladies, all right, all right. Give me a break. Gentlemen. They lied. Okay. They said there were weapons of mass destruction. Destruction, there were none, and they knew there were none. I am sick and tired of him going after my family. My dad is the greatest man alive in my mind. And while, while Donald Trump was building a reality TV show, my brother was building a security apparatus to keep us safe. And he's had the gall to go the after World my Trade mother. Center came he's down. He's had the gall to go reign. after my Remember mother. That. Hold on. Let me finish. My mom is the strongest woman I know. She should this be is running. not about my family or his family. And when the questions turned to immigration reform, that triggered a series of fierce exchanges between Senators Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio. Ted Cruz at a committee hearing very passionately said, I want immigration reform to pass. I want people to be able to come out of the shadows. Now he is a passionate opponent of all those things. So he either wasn't telling the truth then or he isn't telling the truth now. Marco went on Univision in Spanish and said he would not rescind President Obama's illegal executive amnesty. I don't know how he knows what I said on Univision because he doesn't speak Spanish. And second of all, <laughs> the other point that I would make... Marco, si quieres, díselo ahora, ahora mismo, díselo ahora. En español, si quieres. Ted Cruz supported legalizing people that were in this country that illegally. That is simply... And only now does he say he... That is absolutely Major. false. What? is knowingly false. But some of the strongest language of the night came during another heated exchange between Donald Trump and Cruz, who accused Trump of being a closet liberal on important issues like abortion. I like Donald. He is an amazing entertainer. But his policies for most of his thank, life... Thank you very much. I appreciate it. For most of his life, his policies have been very, very liberal. That's a matter you of principle, and I'll, and I'll tell you... You the single biggest liar. You probably are worse than Jeb Bush. You are the single biggest liar. And today, we had robocalls saying Donald Trump is not going to run in South Carolina, where I'm leading by a lot. I'm not going to run. Vote, vote for Ted Cruz. This is the same thing he did to Ben Carson. This guy will say anything. Nasty guy. Now I know why he doesn't have one endorsement from any right. of his colleagues. It is fairly remarkable to see Donald defending Ben after he called him pathological and compared him to a child molester, both of which were offensive and wrong. And Donald has this weird pattern. When you point to his own record, he screams, liar, liar, liar. Well, this debate could have a significant, a significant impact on the campaign, especially in South Carolina, where the Republican primary is a week from tonight. The next Republican debate will be 12 days from now in Houston, Texas. Uh, the debate covered a lot of substantial areas. This is Professor Michael Shires from Pepperdine University. Thank you very much for joining us. Professor of Public Policy, I might add. So was there just one debate here or more than one going on? Well, there were really two, right? You had Donald Trump and Ted Cruz fighting for actual votes in South Carolina in terms of who's going to get electors. Um, and then you had 
Jeb Bush, Marco Rubio, and John Kasich trying to be that establishment <laughs> candidate on the side. But the, the, the Trump Cruz debate was the one where they're fighting for who's going to vote for them in July at the convention. Trump got booed a couple of times, as we heard in, in that, that report. Did he have a rough night? Who, who did well? Who didn't? Well, yeah, you have to say Jeb Bush had, a, had his best night by far. And I think if you kind of look at that part of the debate, he kind of won that part of it. Um, I think overall, Donald Trump had probably his worst outing. He, he came across as kind of aggressive. Now, every time I say that, he goes up two points. So let me just clarify <laughs> my record on this. But, I mean, he was very aggressive and kind of belligerent. And it, did, it just didn't come across well with any of the candidates. Jeb Bush was able to stand up to him, which in the past he's kind of caved. So I think that kind of showed some weakness on Donald's side. He also attacked the Bushes in South Carolina. This is a state that loves the Bush family. So you know, not necessarily the best strategic moves on his part. And Bush had a lot of supporters there at the debate. You could tell from the cheers and boos of the audience. Let, let's change lanes now and talk about the death of Justice Antonin Scalia. And what impact do you think that will have on a campaign that's already uh, pretty wild to begin with? Well, there's, you know, there's two threads to this. One is this really makes real the stakes of this election. I mean, the next president is going to be appointing Supreme Court justices. And when you see one justice today, it really makes that choice real. I thought Ted Cruz, by the way, scored his best point of the night when he, ra when he raised the question of would Donald Trump appoint the kind of justices that Antonin Scalia was. Um, I think also there's another dimension to this, which is going to spill over to the general election. The, the question on whether the Senate approves President Obama's mm -hmm. appointee, he will make an appointee. Uh, he said that already. Uh, whether, they, uh, whether they confirm him or not, it's going to drag out. It'll become a campaign issue. So what sure. are the president's choices as far as the kind of candidate that he might propose? Well, he has two. One is, and I think it was Marco Rubio raised this, we want a candidate we all love and we can approve and get behind, a moderate who's going to be balanced, who's going to respect the Constitution. That's the dream. Uh, the sense is that President Obama's approach has been much more, I'm going to pick somebody who represents the values that I've brought to this presidency. That's why I was elected to this presidency. And that's who I'm, and, it's, and I'm entitled to do that. And it's my legacy going forward. Which one do you think he's going to take? Uh, my personal bet would yeah. be the latter. Thank you, Professor Shires. Appreciate your joining us. Andrea, back to you.